Today I revisited a film that I actually saw in theaters when it came out. A lot of people don't talk about all that much. And honestly, I forgot about it, but my friend really wanted to watch it. It's the movie Zathura. It's part of the Jumanji franchise. I'm not familiar with Jumanji, not familiar with the franchise, never seen it. I only know this story as its own movie. I believe it's also based on a children's book. But never read it, not familiar with it, only going to be talking about the film. There will be spoilers. The basic plot is that uh, two brothers are fighting. They end up playing this board game to pass the time. It ends up taking them into outer space. They have to survive. They have to play the game and finish it in order to get back home and survive in the process. It's a small cast, but the acting is really, really good. There's maybe only about five characters total in the whole thing, but every single one of them gives a very strong performance. The two brothers are great. Kristen Stewart's actually their sister. There's a couple of people from before they became really, really well known. Josh Hutcherson, who became PETA from The Hunger Games, Kristen Stewart, Dak Shepard's in this. A lot of people are also familiar with the Tim Robbins, who plays their father. I think the only one I don't... I don't know, uh, even the younger brother, uh, Jonah Bobo. So, really strong cast. They work well off each other. They're all really, really talented. They turn in very good performances. The special effects are really good, too. A lot of them are practical, and they look amazing. This came out in 2005. It looks great even years later. And all of it, the design of outer space, they do take quite a few liberties with the logic of space. They, the characters do a few things, like turn on water and burn things and throw them into outer space that logically don't make sense, but... That doesn't bother me too much. You give it a pass, it's a movie. The story and pacing is also really good. You get a clear sense of what the story is. You get a clear sense of what the world is. It's very unique. The design of the game is gorgeous. Props to whoever made that. And I think the reason though that it's not really talked about, while people like it, Unfortunately, there is a big problem with it, holding it back, and that's, it's not a lot of fun. It needed more comic relief. Uh, for most of it, the two brothers are fighting. It's one in particular bullying the younger brother. There are issues he has to learn to be a better brother, and they have to learn to work as a team and work to get along. And, of course, they have to play the game. Since they played the game, they have to see it through to the end. They have a good arc, but the fighting is really realistic. They have great chemistry. I believe that these are two brothers who fight. I believe that they have issues in the family. It's said early on that it's a divorce, and the dad's clearly just trying to do his best. But their fighting takes up the first two-thirds, and there are no breaks. Not to mention... They don't have a lot of fun with this game. Even as a kid, I was thinking, I don't want to play this game. I don't want to be in this world. Most of the movie is this gorgeous house getting destroyed, and that's not fun. It needed more fun. I would have liked to see more fun challenges thrown at them. They have some wishing stars that they get, and the fun cards don't really do anything the way the dangerous cards affect them. And that is a big problem with it because something like Labyrinth, yeah, there's a lot of challenges, yeah, everything's out to get you, but it's also enchanting and it's also very creative and there's also a sense of fun to it. Sarah also learns her lesson right away. She has to rectify her mistake from the get-go. Whereas in this movie, the fun stuff doesn't really happen. And... It could have used a few more funny moments. There's a really good, there's some really good stuff in the last third when it's revealed they get visited by an astronaut and later it, the sister ends up thinking he's really cute. Later it's revealed that the astronaut's an older version of the brother and he makes fun of her for it at the end of the movie. He says, hey, still think I have pretty eyes? <laughs> more of that. They needed a few more moments like that in the first two thirds to balance out the fighting and to balance out the challenges. And they, they have an ally in the astronaut, but it, even then they don't really 
become allies right away. It could have used more fun. There's a card where uh, the older brother, who's a jerk, Walter, he gets uh, promoted to Admiral, but nothing ever comes of that. It's a shame because this movie, everything else is so good, but unfortunately the one thing holding it back is it needed more fun, it needed more of the good stuff, it needed more comedy. This is why comic relief is a thing, because there's so much heaviness of the boys fighting and them dealing with, underneath it's all the tension of their relationship as siblings and dealing with this divorce situation. And they have the workaholic father trope, but at the same time, it's not as bad as it was in 90s movies. In that he does try to make time for them. He does, the father actually does work to make time for his kids. So it's a much more downplayed version of the trope. And you get the sense that this is just a guy trying to do his best in a tough situation. He seems to have a really cool job. I wish, and it's also not fun because they're in such a gorgeous house and most of the movie is this gorgeous house getting destroyed. The father actually has a line early on. He says, hey, I'm trying to make this house into a home. I know you like mom's house better, but so did she. She got in the divorce. It's a good line. There was good writing here. It's, a, again, really well done. It's so good, which makes it so frustrating that it's not great when it really could have been. I don't want to be in this environment. I don't want to be in this in this place where they're just yelling at each other and where this game essentially just throws challenges at you. I would have liked to see more of the fun stuff. Maybe they reprogram their robot earlier. Yeah, they get a robot. but And they later reprogram it to become useful to them. But I think maybe they could have done that a little sooner. Just to have some more fun with the environment and what they can do. Flight of the Navigator, for example. There's a lot of fun in the kid controlling his own spaceship. That's some of the wish fulfillment. In Harry Potter, yeah, almost everything can kill you, but at the same time, there's a lot of fun in what you can do with magic, and you see a lot of the conveniences of magic, and you have the fun of the allies you meet, the good creatures that you create, and all the fun nooks and crannies of this environment. There's a better balance in something like Flight of the Navigator or Labyrinth or Harry Potter with the danger and the fun. And Zathura definitely leans too much into the danger. Which is a real shame, because that just frustrates me even more, because everything else is pitch perfect. The acting is good. The actors all have excellent chemistry. There are some good lines here and there. It's a nice environment. I like outer space. I love the home that they're in. The board game is beautifully designed. If it didn't try to kill me, <laughs> If there was more fun, I would have been more sucked into this environment and really wanted to be in it. But sadly, I don't. It's definitely interesting looking at it. Funny thing is, most of what I thought about it as a kid is what I think of it now. I'd be curious as to what other people think about it. But eventually... The two brothers, of course, end up getting along, and there is some, there are some nice heartfelt moments. I just found that they came a little too late, and two or three others could have been scattered in when they're going through the dangers, and they're overcoming obstacles, and finding that they can do something. They do get there. It takes a while. It's a shame. It just, I think maybe one more rewrite with some of that in mind, with a little more heart, not even heart, they, they have the hearts in there, but just a little bit more, just one more rewrite, have some more fun, have more of the wish fulfillment element of what's the good stuff of this game coming to life, what would you want it to throw at you. Maybe they're following the book really closely, Maybe they're following the rules of the Jumanji world really closely. Like I said, I am just looking at it as its own thing. And for what it is, the good stuff is really good. Just needed a little more fun. I'd say that that is really the best way I can put it. It definitely shows why comic relief is necessary when it's done well. 
because here in a movie without it, it does get exhausting. It's the brothers fighting is very realistic. <laughs> Almost too realistic. You just need a break from it, like any stressed out parent would. Even as a kid, you get sick of fighting after a while. You just want a breather. But I do think the good stuff really is worth it. The good stuff really is good. I, I'd say the best stuff in this film really is the acting and the practical effects. It's a beautiful looking movie. It really does look sharp. The effects hold up really, really well, even today. A lot of them were practical, like I said. I'd be curious to what other people think of it. I think it's interesting. The good stuff is good. It's good, but it had the potential to really be great. Movies like that, I appreciate in their own way, but I also get really frustrated with. Overall, though, it was nice to revisit.